So, let me tell you a story what happened today. Hopefully, this story maging lesson learned sa akin, sa inyo, kahit sino na makakapanood ng vlog na to. I may look like nakalma na, pero super deep inside me, I feel parang natridor ako. I feel I was cheated. I feel I was robbed. I think that's the word. So let me tell you what happened earlier. So on our way home, may tumawag sa akin. Sabi nila they are from the bank. And then they are telling me that yung annual fee ng credit card ko is win wave nila. So sabi nila, do you have your credit do you have your card in front in, ready in front of you? Sabi ko, I'm driving. So please call me after like an hour or so sinabi ko 7 o'clock. Call me 7 o'clock. I'll be at home. So come 7 o'clock, actually nakalimutan ko na eh pagdating ko sa bahay, nakalimutan ko na na may tatawag sa akin. Isa was Isa was using my phone. And then suddenly may tumawag. So sabi niya, um, so sir, ako po yung tumatawag kanina. Uh, ready na po ba yung card? As in, nagmamadali siya. So I think, up until this point, alam niyo na kung anong nangyari. Uh, to cut long story short, na fraud ako. And this card has no use anymore. No use. No use. I created this video. Nag-ask pa ako ng permission sa wife ko to warn you, no? Lahat ng may mga card or mga online bank accounts, the bank will never ask for an OTP. The bank will never ask for an OTP. Which was my mistake. So at that time, sabi ko nga, pagdating ko, I was really tired. And introduction sa akin nung caller is We are waiving your parang annual fee Up until may expire yung card mo Too good to be true I don't know if that is existing sa mga ibang bank But that was one of his promise So sabi niya, while we are processing this Ito yung catch Sabi niya sa akin, meron po kayong Timex Na i-deliver namin as a freebie Sa nearest bank mo so, while well, yun nga, habang pinaikot-ikot niya ako, nag-ring nag a bell sa akin yun. Oh, so parang it's a freebie. I can use it or I can give it to my wife as a, as a surprise. Parang ganun. So that was my intention. Sabi ko, at least I have a surprise for my wife. So, sabi niya, as a verification, ano po yung parang na-brainwash na ako at this time. So, isa pang... Isa pang factor dito is As in medyo lutang ako, pagod At medyo may mga ibang factors pa na parang nag uh, a up Hanggang makuha nga nila na yung Information ko sa card Ginawa nila guys Gumawa sila ng transaction sa Shopee Three transactions Super Super So sabi ko I feel I felt Para akong <laughs> Sinuntok sa loob, hindi man nga sa loob Ay sa labas eh, hindi man nga sa labas Parang nasuntok ako sa loob And uh, that was really hurtful na Andali naman nilang makakuha ng pera Parang madali ang nangyari, ba Pero for sure, they studied everything like psychology Bahala na sila kung ano yung ginawa nila doon no? But the good thing is Ito naman, so, kumbaga, a little, a little sunlight of what happened. Um, so, immediately, ay nga pala, so, paano ko na-detect na parang fraud? Um, so, ang, ang last parang promise nila is, we're gonna send it to your email address. We're gonna send it to your email. So, three hours ha ha have passed, hindi ko pa nare-receive yung email. As in, and then I tried to call them. Busted na yung phone number. And then, yung, yung parang may automated, ano pa yun eh, message dun sa transaction. And then, if you have concern, call this. And I try to call that. It's not existing. Kulang ng isang number. So, make sure to, parang ganito, when you use your 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 card, 
kapag may nare-receive kayong ganun, make sure to check everything if the phone number is existing, if it's live, if it's not ano parang not busted or not dead, make sure that pwede niyo siyang tawagin. And isa pa, gusto ko lang i-emphasize, the the bank will never ask for an OTP. Bank will never ask for an OTP. So again, ito, a little sunlight for what happened. I called uh, East West Bank, my bank, immediately. And the good thing is, so yung online transaction naman takes uh, time din. So, vine-verify din ng, ng merchant, ganyan, no? si Shopee mismo, um, kung valid yung transaction. So, the good thing is, tomorrow I can go to the bank. I can go to the bank. I can file a dispute dun sa makikita naman nila yung transaction there. Uh, hopefully, mahabol nila yon, Mahabol nila yung, maku yung nakuha nila sa akin. And right now, sabi ko nga, this thing is not working anymore. It's close. So guys, today is a lesson learned. I'm not saying na walang... It, the, what happened was very light for me it is not I'm I really feel down right now kasi yun nga parang I felt cheated I felt robbed which is really what happened as a word of caution word of advice to all of you who are watching this video be careful ako lesson learned whatever it is na tatawag sa akin regarding my bank or my you know my account i'm not gonna entertain it super pag ako yung may concern ako tatawag doon and if may mga promo etc 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 i'm not gonna entertain it meron pa akong ano pala conversation so na record ko Ayan, ayan, ayan. Yes, sir. Nang pangalawa pa. Okay. 'tong lang ako pag naririnig ko 'yan but anyway I don't know if I'm still gonna keep this video record siguro I will for parang evidence when I go to the bank tomorrow uh ah huh? so yeah at the end of the day sabi ko nga sa family ko at the end of the day the family is still the most important for me, my kids, my wife, I would still be grateful to have them. Huh? No complaining. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to go to the bank, file a dispute. Kapag na, kapag na honor yung dispute, done. Done. Lesson learned. Vlog 009, done.